Hi preschool friends, it's Miss Carrie, and all month long we have been learning that God is with us wherever we go and that no matter what, God's got it. We learned that God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and he saved them from the fire when they stood up to King Nebuchadnezzar. Then we learned that God was with baby Moses when his mom hid him in a basket, and then God sent the princess of Egypt to take care of him. Last week, we learned that God was with Hagar and his son when they were in the desert, and God heard them when they were crying, and he gave them the water that they needed. So this week, in our true story from the Bible, we're gonna hear another story about Noah, a boat, and some animals. Can you guess what it is? Let's get ready to sing, dance, and see if you guess the right Bible story. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of Foil. I want to see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you want to help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, 
three, four, four. Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> It just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One, two. Oh, there's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. Let's try it again. One, two, three. There, that's a bigger boat. Oh, wait, that's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. Oh, now that's a big, big boat. Whew, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. <laughs> you built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? Yes, penguins! I love penguins! <laughs> oh, and there are all kinds of other animals, too. Ooh, here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals! Then Noah and his family got on the boat, and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But. Noah knew he didn't have to worry, because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, well, it rained and it rained, and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. 
but Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. It was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us, and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God told Noah just what to do, and he kept his promise to him, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, what an awesome story. God was with Noah the whole time, and God always keeps his promises. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, it stopped raining outside after all of this time. I hope I can see a rainbow. I'm gonna go look right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 What did Noah build? A boat. Who kept Noah and his family safe on the boat? God did. Parents, look for our activity on our Mountain Ridge website or app under the Parent Q tab on our Elevate Kids. And this week's activity, you are going to be making animal sounds, or you can use your phone to play some animal sounds. And friends, you are going to be guessing which animal it is, and then you're going to pretend to be that animal. All right, have fun, and we'll see you next time.